And welcome back to Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas, and we are two sweets, and we love design. Mm. A couple of months ago, we released a video about the clamshare mm. and told the story of this popular little chair. But since then, <laughs> new information <laughs> has emerged, changing the history quite a bit. Mm. And that's why we're doing this sequel today. Mm. First of all, we must give credit to some researchers who came up with the new information and finally solved the mystery surrounding the identity of the designer behind the clamshare. Mm. Instagram accounts, Movable Modern, Faces of Danish Modern and Archivalium together rewrote the history of the clamshare once again. Yeah. And for many years now, it's been a commonly known fact that the clamshare was designed by Philip Arktander and or originally produced by Nordisk Stål och Möbel Central in Copenhagen. Uh, it was the auction house Brun Rasmussen who uh, first came up with this information, claiming they got it confirmed by one of Arktander's former colleagues, uh, Paul Erik Skriver. But this attribution always seemed a bit shady without any written sources whatsoever supporting the claims. Um, and no furniture catalogues or old magazine articles ever mentioned Arktander in connection with the clamshare. But Brun Rasmussen seemed very certain. <laughs> this is what they wrote in a press release back in 2013. And this is a quote. In an article in Ny Tidskrift för Konstindustri in 1944 had asked six designers to come up with ideas for a furniture competition. One of them, Philip Arktander. A later issue of the magazine tells us that all the furniture from the competition was displayed in the store. This is also evident from the Danish design magazine El Pinnit, in which a rare version of the clamshare without armrests appears. The same version is also seen in the Swedish magazine Form in 1947 in an article about the home of a Danish engineer. The more common version with armrests and a familiar sofa appeared in the Danish magazine Bygge och Bo from 1945 in an ad for Nordisk Stål och Möbelcentral. All of these sources confirm that the clan chair is Danish and designed by Philip Arktander. End of quote. <laughs> yeah, but when thinking about it, uh, none of these sources claims that Arktander designed the clamshare. It just seems to be a, a wild guess. But what about the testimony by Arktander's old colleague? One must remember that Polerik Skriver was 94 years old when he was interviewed by Brun Rasmussen and he tried to remember something that happened almost 70 years earlier. Mm. Uh, his testimony should therefore not be taken too seriously, especially not when there's not a single source backing up his claims. Mm. So, the Arctander attribution was unsure at best, mm. but no one really had any better suggestions, and for years Arctander was considered to be the designer. Mm. Until just recently, when these researchers mentioned earlier decided to solve the mystery. Um, a first clue to the puzzle was actually an old ad for the Norwegian furniture company Viken Blindheim. It's a well-known fact that they produced the glam clamshare in the 50s. The glam. The glamshare. The glam clamshare. <laughs> uh, in, in, in the ad, uh, one could see the uh, clamshare together with chairs produced by the Danish furniture manufacturer uh, Madsen and Schubel. And... Could this mean that all the shares in the picture uh, were Madsen and Schubel products? Are you asking me? Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> no. <laughs> After some extensive digging, they managed to prove the background of the clamshare once and for all. And it was indeed designed by the Danish upholsterer uh, Arnold Madsen, who, was, uh, who uh, made a plaster prototype in 1944, but lacked the knowledge needed to produce it. And he started looking for a carpenter skilled enough to build the rounded frame of the chair. And at Winter and Winding, he came in contact with the young carpenter Henry Schubel. Soon the two started the company Madsen and Schubel, uh, producing clam shares as well as a long range of successful shares highly sought after today. Mm. 
In 1953, the rights to produce the clamshare was sold to the Norwegian company Vik and Blindheim. Mm. And Madsen and Schubel stopped producing it. Mm. In Denmark, clamshares were therefore only produced for less than 10 years. Mm. Okay, the conclusion is that the clamshare was designed in 1944 by Arnold Madsen and originally produced by Madsen and Schubel. But why should we trust this new information? We have indeed been fooled before. Mm. Well, the evidence this time is overwhelming. First of all, the clamshare was pictured together with other shares by Madsen and Schubel in the old Viken Belindheim ad. And that's not all. Uh, the actual photograph used, photographs used in the ad were taken by Arnold Madsen himself and can still be found in the Madsen family archives. Mm. That's quite overwhelming. Um, and Fleming Schubel worked in his father's company for many years and he clearly remembers the plaster model of the chair. According to him, the model was stored in the factory until it was closed in the 1980s. And then, to Arnold Madsen's 50th birthday in 1957, some of the guests at the party wrote him a song referring to the chair that once made Madsen and Schubel start their company. And I will try to read this in Danish. <laughs> and it goes, Under krigens mangler måtte mange polster stå for fall, hvis man ikke kunne få mennesker anbrankt i et muskelingskall. Sorry, Danes. <laughs> but it, this means something like, during the shortcomings of the war, many upholsterers had to fall if they couldn't place people in a clamshell. Yeah, that's uh, obviously referring to the clamshare. Beautiful. <laughs> no. Either way, that's why we can mm. conclude with almost 100% certainty <laughs> that the clamshare was indeed designed by Arnold Madsen and no one else. And Philip Arctander didn't have anything to do with it. Uh, there's another problem we must mention. Uh, a couple of years ago, the Danish uh, company Paustian started producing the clamshare, attributing it to Arctander and giving royalties to his family. And they're still selling the Arctander share and also tables in the Arctander collection. But legally, this is more than problematic. Uh, one must ask oneself what kind of proof is needed if you want to start producing old design furniture. Mm. In this case, vague speculations about its origin was apparently enough for Paustian to start producing it. And the granddaughter of Arctander uh, gave them her permission, but the permission wasn't hers to give. Uh, it will be interesting now to see what will happen. Will Paustian stop producing the clamshare, or will they reach an agreement with the Madsen family and continue producing it, but in uh, Arnold Madsen's name? Mm. Well, only time will tell, I guess. And this was the new information about the clamshare. <laughs> Hope you found this interesting and a nice update. Hope so. And if you liked the episode, please click thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, and thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.